the twin the twins were traveling eastwards across the international date line during the birth okay uh, the elder twin was born first on march 1st after they crossed the international date line the younger brother was born on february 28th how it is possible one day we are going ahead or beyond when they celebrated their birth birthdays on leap year they are two days apart but they are twins this is also possible in the world we'll learn about for that okay see here clocks are there but given different labels ah huh? the first one is new york another is sofia next one is our third one is our india new delhi and manila tokyo and canberra there is a different times it showing no each clocks it showing a different times this is also amazing one only but this is for our day to day life in all over the world so okay, now we are going to the related topic huh? i just going uh, the past one previous classes uh, means known to unknown method only uh, in your earlier class like 6th standard 6th standard 7th standard 8th you learn that uh, thing no see that earth is a spherical in shape uh, that uh, it is just opposite part of the earth okay that is uh, towards the sun it get the sun rays but see the earth also rotate itself okay but earth rotation is different huh? earth is rotate itself west to east always it rotate itself west to east east so the automatically the eastern part of the earth okay the eastern part of the earth uh, it is ahead from the sunlight the western is little apart from the sunlight but every 12 hours the rotation is changing okay so now we are going to see the time zone uh, today i am going to see the pictures only uh, don't worry about it this is not for the textual matter you please close your textbook and uh, listen carefully i will explain everything very detailed uh. see this is the projection there is uh, seeing the um, horizontal and vertical okay uh see uh there is the um, projection there is a okay there is a vertical and horizontal lines are there okay vertical and horizontal lines are there uh, you see there is uh, i am explaining you like one small child only there is a sleeping lines are there standing lines are there the sleeping lines are latitudes okay standing lines are longitudes you always remember like that okay sleeping lines that means the horizontal lines are latitude vertical lines standing lines are longitudes so this projection is very much help uh, help to draw the maps not only draw the maps is uh, we already learn about for the latitudes no that is 0 degree latitude is equator 23 and a half north is tropic of cancer 23 and a half south is tropic of capricorn and then this all we already completed so you know uh, some uh, some things about latitudes okay this latitude used to help us for uh, uh, that a changing of climatic conditions rainfall and uh, even vegetation uh, distributions in in everything we can learn through the latitudes but the standing lines the vertical lines no land the longitudes it help us to calculate the distance and time and uh, uh, it is very closer to the sun rays okay so these both lines are very help, uh, helpful for us but you see if someone can able to draw this line on the universe this is possible no no these are the lines are imaginary lines these are the lines are imaginary lines 
this lines is nobody won't draw on the earth surface okay this is this is uh, these are the lines are imaginary lines because how see already we know the earth is spherical in shape first i want to explain about latitude see latitude okay earth is spherical in shape so that uh, we, we know about for the circle no uh, so each circle has a 360 degree so even uh, the same like that on the earth also it has a 360 degree uh, now you see the about the latitude uh, are known as parallel lines each latitudes are parallel to one another run in an east west directions always uh, latitudes runs east to west direction okay in measure distance north to north or south from the equator are parallel to one another and never meet that latitudes no it's never meet it is a independent lines these are the lines are independent lines cross the prime meridian right angles okay once the latitudes cross the prime meridian it's became a right angle that is a 90 degree a uh, line in planes and cross the earth axis at right angles get shorter toward the poles with only the equator the longest a great circle see once it goes over um, ahead to the polar the latitude circum uh, circumferences uh, it's going to reduce only okay it is became very smaller in size um then another one things we have a 181 latitudes how it is possible one is the equator then again 180 180 latitudes are there <clears throat> normally it is formed like that 179 latitudes okay then 170 180 is equator and then the both the polar points okay that is also they are calculating like that points only so sorry 178 latitudes equator is one thing and then north and south pole is point they are main uh, they are mentioning the point there is no circle or there is no circumference see the north pole and south pole is they are uh, we used to keep like a point okay then next one is the longitudes the long uh, longitudes facts uh, uh, are known as meridians okay it's uh, it is uh, spread like that how it i already told you that is the vertical lines it runs in north to south directions measure distance east or west of the prime meridians see latitude it's divide the earth for the two parts north and south but longitude it's divide the two parts of the earth that is west and east otherwise east and west anything else are uh, forest apart from the equator and meet the poles cross the equator at a right angles okay they always the prime meridian otherwise a meridian 90 degree meridian it cross the equator in the 90 degree that's why this projection you see in all the vertical lines and the uh, horizontal lines it meet each other in the 90 degree point only right angle only okay uh, come in cross the equator at right angles lie in planes that passes through the earth axis earth axis okay and then all equivalent length there is see there is no equal length in latitude there is no equal length in latitude okay it's going on nearer to the polar it is became very smaller in size but the the longest chord of the circle is equator but here no longitude all are equal all are equal okay Uh, same uh, all are equal in length or uh, halves of great circles okay and then it meets in the same point only like that uh, how that orange the fruit orange or mosambi no we can remove one a piece of that it is a uh, how it is look like same like that in longitudes also okay now the latitude and longitudes i am given the diagram see where is the north pole in longitude the first one is the longitude the second one is both latitude and longitude so, so it is a circle it's became what one side is 180 degree almost it is 360 degree but it is a line spherical in shape no that's one and this picture do you remember this picture this is this picture is taken from the eighth standard book is a very good explanation huh? gmt green sorry green which meridian okay uh, gmt means what green which meridian local time see 
there is a uh, as amazing things with uh, this latitude and longitudes we'll see now ha huh. before going to this no i want to explain about for this see prime meridian is different okay and gmt is different ha uh -huh. here you see the second picture the second one there is a 0 degree from north to south that is mentioned in prime meridian okay this prime meridian only here also there see here 0 degree it crosses the london greenwich meridian time gmt is there no uh so this greenwich meridian time and this international date line is different okay this two lines are different uh so now we are going to this picture up uh, the gmt that uh, gmt that greenwich meridian it's help to calculate the time it's help to calculate the time it is very interesting calculations okay uh i'm showing you see this picture okay there is a gmt utc that is another name is utc um, universal time coordinator and gmt is same only they have the two names one is gmt another one is utc okay this two the utc also 0 degree prime meridian only now we already studied about for this in eighth standard just i'm giving for uh, one small introduction on this uh, there is a in indi uh, that is a world map uh, here you see it's divided into two parts okay the gmt is the red line that eastern side what are the countries are there and continents are there in west of the gmt what are the continents are there now you see always um that sun is that eastern side okay that eastern side it's get sunrise first the day begins from the eastern side one day uh, and then western side is the time is go uh, beyond okay today is the what date uh, today is a 8th september no in asia okay especially in india we look india india we are uh, 8th september in india the same time in us or canada or anything los angeles mexico anywhere else in the uh, that uh, western corner western side of the uh, continents no that countries they are having in 7th september only see this map it's showing very nicely see the tokyo okay they are good night the tokyo it is in the time of good night the same time in india they are go the children are going to school the same thing in uh, akara they are eating the lunch see they are wake up, waking up so there is a different time schedules in every day because of this longitudes and local time and gmt gmt so how we are calculating uh, there is a calculation is that here you see uh, 360 degree is divided by 24 hours so every one hour we are crossing 15 degrees the sunlight is crossing 15 degrees okay the one hour means 60 minutes the 60 minutes is divided by 15 degree that means one longitude it's take time for 4 minutes okay so this is the calculation so we are calculating the time okay in 0 degree to towards eastern direction okay the towards is eastern direction there is the times are gaining towards western direction they are loose okay that only you used to remember that here you see there is a um, yes so every 15 degree one hour is in, uh, increasing uh, utc means gmt only the next 15 degree do you include at the one hour more okay that means in utc there is a 12 pm or 12 is 12 pm means 
here it is 1 o'clock 1 pm here it is 2 pm here it is 3 pm here it is 4 pm every 15 degree the one hour is increasing towards the west and eastern direction the same like that in utz every one hour is reducing towards the western direction see there is a 12 am here there is 11 11 o'clock morning 11 am there is 12 uh, 10 am there is 9 am 8 am 7 am like that it is going so the gmt is help us to calculate the local time we are comparing the local time to greenwich meridian time so then why you are studying about for these all things because no if a, see any field became you are a very big businessman otherwise you are politician or any great leaders you are across in the country is known if once you once you got the flight okay after that they will give the instruction to set your watch according to the related country so you need to know about for the international time and date line okay now uh, then here here okay again i am going for about for the latitude and longitude now i given about for the international uh, sorry gmt and local time informations now it is latitude and longitudes okay uh, only help us to find out our location and extent in our mobile we have a gps system no that is currently related with the uh, this uh, this only okay in the gps is it is very closer to the local time and gmt and international date line also okay now you see what is the location of india so india in which latitude and longitude is crossing india in the map we can see which latitude and longitude is crossing in india you see the map is clear no uh, so always the horizontal lines are latitude vertical lines are uh, longitudes now you see in the starting point in down nearer to kanyakumari that is the 8 degree north to 4 minutes north 8 degree to 4 minutes north to 37 degree okay there is a 36 line is crossing on about this 36 37 degree to 6 minutes north latitudes in india's latitudes okay the same times longitudes the longitude is uh, there is the western time the gut it's uh, closely touched with the gujarat border 68 degree east 68 degree 7 minutes east lo longitudes okay to 97 degree and 25 second minutes that is in eastern side this is our latitude and longitude locations okay 8 degree to 36 uh, sorry 37 degree north that is the latitude 68 degree east to 96 degree east that is our longitudes Okay, so in India, there is the topic of Capricorn is a uh, topic of uh, cancer is passing through in India. Okay, there is also one more line is there standard meridian. See, there is a standard meridian. It cross Nepal, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and little Orissa. Anna? This is what this is the IST. We are calculating our local time to Greenwich meridian time through this meridian that is a uh, indian standard meridian ist indian standard time okay that meridian is crossing for 82 and a half degree 82 and a half degree there is given no on the line there is given so this is the indian latitude in india we have a same time only so many longitudes are crossing so we can't able to ca calculate for every uh, place or every state according to the longitudes okay so we are maintaining the one standard time only that is 82, 82 degree and 30 82 and a half ist meridian it is crossing to india okay we are that's why we are maintaining the same indian time in all over india we don't have a different times in assam to gujarat and jammu and kashmir to uh, karniakumari we are maintaining the same time okay wherever you are going in 
uh, all around in india we are maintaining the same same time only that is belong to the ist meridian okay you always remember this how to calculate the time each degree it has a 4 minutes 15 degrees once it got the 1 hour so according to that towards the eastern parts we are increasing our time towards the western uh, through the greenwich meridian it is reducing okay now we are going to study about for the idea that is the international date line that is different from greenwich meridian okay uh, we see the prime meridian and the international date line are opposite of each other okay that's why see the picture is ulta this the picture is what ulta in directions why see in prime meridian it showing the um, eastern direction see in prime meridian there is a east is asia is located japan is located but uh, uh, the same thing in the western side there is a uh, north america and south america these are locating but here you see idl idl there is something is changed no because the earth rotate west to east direction this is the other side of the earth okay now do you understand so these both lines are opposite is each other that's why these lines have antipodal points that is the antipodal <coughs> points okay this is the opposite direction both is not same okay antipodal points mean the point of the earth surface which are uh, <coughs> diametrically opposite diametrically opposites a pair of points antipodal to each other are situated such that straight line connecting to the two would passes through the earth center the prime meridian passed through the royal astronomical and observatory at greenwich near london we studied more things about for prime meridian ah see there is a 0 degree latitude prime meridian and here also uh, uh, these lines all the lines are about for prime meridian there is a straight picture of the world but idal is a little ulta direction okay uh, see in london it determines the local time in rela relation to gmt or greenwich mean time which is sometimes referred to as world time new name is utc i already told no universal time coordinator utc and prime meridian is same only greenwich meridian and then prime meridian utc the three is same only okay this is a normal okay there is a map is showing like a normal only but international date line passes through pacific ocean it determines date changes it determines date changes okay okay it is passes through the pacific ocean that's why our dates are changing one place to another place we have a different dates also okay come now do you remember about for this riddle the twins were traveling eastward across the international date line during during the birth the elder twin was born first on march 1st after they crossed the international date line the younger brother was born on february 28 when they celebrated their birthday on a leap year they are two days apart but they are twins okay this little funny only but it is true so international date line see it is running through the pacific ocean it is running through the pacific ocean see it is a uh, middle of uh, asia and uh, north america not like in uh, it, uh, there is no atlantic ocean there is no london it is passes through the pacific ocean on the international date line and here also you see now how the international date date line is how the prime meridian is there and uh, how the international date line is there in separate okay and then we can go through all the slides now today i am teaching about for local time and gmt i given the introduction of international date line tomorrow i will briefly explain about your textual matter in international date line otherwise you will get confusions okay that's why i am i'm going to stop here only but i will show the powerpoint presentation one by one you just read about it 
okay you just clear your mind there is a greenwich meridian and prime meridian utc universal time coordinator these all difference from the international date line okay the both are different uh, that is gmt gmt is crossing the atlantic nearer to the atlantic ocean but it crosses through the london but uh, this one idl that international date line it goes through the pacific ocean so this is a world clock we have a different time in different place the same day only but the days are changing according to the international date line so you know this is a very big impact is sunlight and sunrise now this is what time zone okay that a projection i explained you projection means what vertical and horizontal lines are crossing with each other it helps to draw the map accurately at the same time it helps to calculate the distance time and date line and also climate and other temperature rainfall everything because of this projection only we are calculating we are considering and then the facts about for longitudes go through this slide Please note these points. Sir, it is very useful points for you. you can try to calculate the time uh, with the help of this map so today i am going to give one evaluation also uh, in your textbook sorry ninth standard textbook that is the calculation ah huh? okay uh, see that is the date and time is there okay have you able to find out with the help of that map i already shown you na for the eighth standard book it is very interesting ah huh? this is very simple way to calculating okay i already given the formula also each 15 degree it cross for one hour towards the eastern side the times are gaining that means you have to add the times to the greenwich zero meridian okay 
and then towards the see in greenwich the result 12 no towards the west it's reducing that's why 10 hours see because there is a different is 30 degree that means every 15 degree it reduced to 1 hour so 10 o'clock then again 60 degree west there is also difference with 2 hours there is 8 hours don't write the days when dates when it will be changed after 180 degree the date will change according to this there is 90 degree again 2 hours then 6 6 hours in May. okay then you see the 150 degree that 150 degree means again the 30 differences there there is a 4 o'clock so in like that you have to calculate try to calculate and solve it today itself huh? it is a, like a game only With the help of this map, you can able to calculate the time. See, every 15 degree, there is mentioned. There is one hour is increasing towards the east. One hour is reducing towards the west. So, it is the Indian standard time is IST only. You don't confuse about for the Indian standard time. Uh, that is, we, have, we are following the same time in all over India. In all over India, there is a difference in longitudes. Here is a uh, same 68 degree to uh, 96 degree. Okay. There is 96 to 68. There is 18 degrees different is there. Almost one hour. Okay, almost nearly one hour or 10 minutes difference is there east to west. See, there is a 97.25, 97 degree to 25 minutes. Here, 68 degree to 7 minutes. Uh, this east west longitudes, no? We have a difference between Arunachal Pradesh to Gujarat. We have a one hour difference is there. But then also we are following the same Indian standard time only because we are uh, having a one great meridian that is the Indian IST meridian 82 degree and 30 minutes it passing in India through Uttar Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. So you always remember this with this you can able to easily calculate the in your textbook uh, answers. Okay, this is very, very important. Huh? Go through the points. What is antipodal and the, and see all the UPSC exams and base level central exams, no? In all the exams, they are asking questions from this class, huh? international date line and uh, local and standard time, huh? local and Greenwich Meridian time. So it is very important lesson you learn. And today I want to say the moral. The last time is never found again. So be careful to handle your time. The two most powerful warriors are patient and time. So if you have, if you take time, the automatically your patience will increase. And then date, day, each new day is better than last day. Okay, so tomorrow is the better than today. So don't miss tomorrow class also. Tomorrow we will study only about for IDL, International Date Line. That is very closely related to your subject, subject topic.
So with the help of this, how we can find out for Indian time to Greenwich time? See, UTC is zero degree. Okay, there is a afternoon twelve o'clock. Then what is in India Indians time? See, there is a difference between five and a half hours because eighty two and a half degree. That is Indian standard line passing through in India. Okay, uh, there is a difference between UTC to in India. Five and a half hours. Okay, you see that India, there is India that down in the, they put for the plus five hours. No, so five and a half hours because IST meridian passes through the Uttar Pradesh to Chhattisgarh. There is five and a half hours difference. So from Greenwich meridian UTC to in India, we have a difference between five and a half hours. Okay, uh, so there is a noon time twelve o'clock means in India evening. Around five thirty. Yes, around five thirty. So you can calculate for any other any places in the world, huh? and then see wherever the same longitude located in the different countries in India, even Sri Lanka also that IST meridian is crossing. Okay. And see, pa nearer to other countries, uh, slightly Nepal. Uh, see, some of the countries know they are maintaining more than uh, one standard time. Ah, uh, in India is maintaining only one standard time only. That is eighty-two degree and a half. In some country, no, if they are in broader in size, they are maintaining more than one or two local times. Ah, uh, one or two local times also. An example today, tomorrow I will sorry. Tomorrow I will give about for the Brazil. There is a three local time is there in India. We are maintaining for the one local time only. Not like in similar in every place uh, all over the world. Ah, uh, it is different about for the. Um, uh, this is the uh, different about for the uh, size of the country. Okay, whether their country is very broader, they are used to maintain for the uh, three, even four. Local time also. See the China, how big? You know, then same like only Brazil also. In many other countries, they are maintaining for more than one standard time. But in India, we are maintaining only one standard time only. Now all over India, we are calculating same time only. That is never changed. Through the UTC to in India, we are calculating five and a half hours difference. So. Yes, almost today we completed our local time and standard time. Tomorrow we are going to study about further international date line. Hello. Yes, teacher. 